Heyo everyone, and welcome to the brand new stream let's play of Balfully stumbling through my way through ba with Balf Balf I was going to say Balf Resident Resident Evil 2 the remake by of course Capcom, the remake of the original Resident Evil 2 game back on the PlayStation 1, which I never finished, I'm sad to admit. Anyway, we're going to start a new game. Now, for anyone that doesn't know Resident Evil, it's a survival horror with some action. Or quite a bit of action, depending on which one you want to load up. And less horror. But this one seems the good perfect of lots of horror with some action. And so I have a horror of low ammo and you got a horde of zombies after you and everything. Now, this will be a pretty much a blind playthrough of being blind of I've never actually played the remake outside of the first hour including the demo I forgot how long the demo was was it 30 minutes or an hour I think it was 30 minutes so yeah I know the beginning of the game quite well and I've seen bits and bobs but I've not seen anyone like go through the whole game I do know the original Resident Evil 2 quite well, so obviously any story things of what happens in the remake or what happens in the original will probably happen in the remake I uh, would probably know about. But without further ado, otherwise I won't know what to expect apart from the beginning. And if anyone that sees it on Twitch, I'm going to be playing it as Claire Redfield. We can choose between Leon or Claire. Out of these two characters, I prefer with Claire. Oh hey mage, welcome, welcome. And good luck with this, oh thank you very much mage. Now I have done some previous gameplay, you may see some saves. I haven't deleted the saves. But anyway, we're gonna start a new game. I'm gonna do this on standard, cause assisted would be too easy. I mean you got aim assist, I don't need aim assist. And health regeneration's not my thing, standard's normal and hardcore. Stronger enemies, and it means stronger enemies. I've seen, I've seen what how strong enemies get on hard courts. It's not nice. So standard it is. I'd read this text, but I don't get much time to go for it or to to read out loud. I'm serious, okay? I saw this with my own eyes. Oh, I believe you, buddy. I believe you. <laughs> Just tell us a story. Tell us a story. Okay. Well, how about how about the burger? Night, I was walking home from the bar, and this woman started coming towards me. She was staggering, you know, so I, I figured she was drunk. <laughs> whoa, 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 Okay, tell us, be honest now, how many drinks did you have? No, oh, man, I, I barely had a buzz. Well, what do you think the girl's drunk? It's not even gone to in the right. good bit yet. She got closer and I got a good look at her. You had to see her eyes, her nose, her whole face. It looked like it was rotting. Yes. She looked like a corpse. Like a walking corpse, man. <laughs> Sounds like my wife. I've never seen anything like it. I haven't been able to sleep since that night. All right, calm down, buddy. Calm down. Just, hey, you got to stay strong, okay? Don't give in to fear out there, right? Yeah, well, you got that right. If you freeze up around these things, they'll sink their teeth in a little. I should attack somebody. Oh, come on. It's just getting good. Shouldn't you always keep your eyes on the road, sir? Oh, sleep. and he's tired as well. Oh, that's a great combo. Oh, shit. That person's dead, dead. Maybe. Ooh. It's raining blood. Hallelujah. Oh, that look fine. What do I do? What am I gonna do? Oh. Um. Yeah, you may want to turn around there. Oh, first person. Oh. Yeah, I'm almost there. Me, I'll be fine. 
Sounds good. That's some cheap gas. I find Chris. I will, but I gotta go. Why does everyone think I'm gonna get in trouble? Well, we happen to be in a hard game. What the? Oh, so I see that gun in her, on her leg there. Hello? Well, if she comes prepared, that's quite smart. And we're just out the rain. How, how, how good's that? Right, let me just quickly check. Oh, holding out actually turns the camera to where you're facing. Huh. Never knew knew that. Alright, let me just quickly check OBS. Okay, sorry about that. Everything seems to be winning fine. It's got 0 0.1 frames drop and that was on 0 0.2 before it loaded up the game, so that's progress. So yeah, we get to control. Clear. Redfield, and we start off in our gas station. What we could do is just get on this bike and just get the crap out of here. Oh, lovely weather. In fact, let's just run away. Oh, she's getting wet. Oh. Wonder how far it let me run. Middle of nowhere, I suppose that's true. Just some lampposts, as far as I can see. Now let's get out of the code, we don't want uh, the Wayne, we don't want to catch a code. What does that say? One way, okay. What's, what's this bomb sign mean? Two people and a car. I've never seen that sign before. And, oh, there's some cheap gas. We must move to vacuum save. That's probably why everyone goes there. Oh, she's pushing the rain off. I'm not sure that's easier said than done. Enjoy the rich aroma of our specially selected beans. Ooh. Sounds nice. When life has you seen red, enjoy the wild taste of dingo red cigarettes. Get wild. Now on sale. I think I passed on it. And we got... Cortis Painting Company, celebrating 100 years of service. And now I'm going to get out of the rain. Ice. Two dollars for a bag of ice? Oh, freffing rip off. Oh, we got free air. Lovely. Have fun. Oh, hamburgers. That looks better than the one that goes in in the truck. Well, let's go in. Here? Oh, flashlight. Oh, it's very Hello? dark in here. Plus tax. I'm actually glad that for once, as we can see, it actually includes the tax on prices in America. That's great. So, so I was just double checking. Everything, yep, everything's fine. Yep. Someone sounds like they're having fun out there. One dollar and twenty-five cents for cigarettes. Change you can touch. That doesn't sound right. Well, with that said, uh, let's uh, have a look around. Oh, we can't get through there. Don't know how the ca guy in the counter can get through there. Hello? Definitely something going on behind this door. Maybe that's what the police car outside is. Which, by the way, we can open with our hand. With our body. Where was that police car? There it is. I didn't actually check that. Also, it said pull. We opened. We pushed it. I'm a badass. Also, this flashlight is really good. It doesn't run out. Oh. Here, yeah, heavy beef breathing. Are you okay? <gasps> What's wrong? Uh, Wait here. I'll check it out. Bad idea. He looks wounded. We need to get to him to our hospital. Meanwhile, ooh, 
Undercover Thrill. Eric the Dragon Slayer. Kiss of Love. Um, yeah, I think this guy really needs a doctor. Hospital stat. Hmm. How creepy. Do do. Hold on. What the fifth? Hey, what the hell? What's the door shut? How did he? Did he close the door on me? That weird man. Can you even see him from here? No, I can't. Sad days. I thought I heard something. Um, hello? What's going on here? Oh! I don't think he has. Oh hi Harvest, welcome to the stream. Oh, how lovely. Yeah, you heard me, don't come closer. You listen to Claire. Evil zombie. Then I just quickly reload. Oh, I think he's dead dead. Huh. Ugh, ugly. Right. Alright, do we have anything to loot? Oh, we have a key. Oh, pizza. I'm sure no one would mind if I just nick a slice and... Oh. I wonder what they were doing in this gas station. In their spare time. Gee, I wonder. No way. Be alive. Oh dear. That, that's my cue to get the feff out of this room. And using key items. You can unuse an item to unlock a door or solve a puzzle, select the item, then press the news button. And whatever that this icon's meant to represent. Oh, how lovely. Oh, zombie. Two zombies. Let's get over here. Oh, that was a close one. You see, why can't I do that? That makes things so much easier for me. We gotta get out of here. You all right? Yeah, I think so. Thanks. You can thank me later when we're safe. Holy shit! Uh, where do all these zombies come from? Stage they're streaming themselves, so just wanted to stop in and say hello. Oh, that's kind of you. Thanks for dropping by to say hello. I appreciate it. What the hell is going on? I don't know. Hopefully they'll have some answers at the police station. Wait, well we're not You're going away from the from yeah. the city. Leon Kennedy. And you are? Claire. Claire Redfield. Live around here? No. Looking for my brother. He's a cop too. Well, it's a good thing we found each other. Aim for the hit. I don't know what to expect anymore. No, we just see the living dead. Just get up from the, f from pretty much the floor, and you don't know what to expect anymore. A lovely, lovely cinematic in intro. I actually like this intro. Showing Raccoon City in absolutely chaos. Makes me wonder why are we going towards it after witnessing zombies. I would, I would go the other way.
Doom, doom, doom. Resident Evil 2. Attention all citizens. Due to the citywide outbreak, you are advised to take shelter at the Raccoon City Police Station. Free food and medical supplies will be provided to everyone in need. God, this is so unreal. Police station's not much farther. They'll know something. Yeah, but... At least he seems to remember everything. What if we're the only ones? What if there's no survivors? No, there's survivors. It's a big city. There has to be. Just moved the microphone there. Had the cough. Ugh, had a coughing fit. Wait, what? Dead end. Like We're not getting out. No, 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 no. I was gonna say at least Leon knows how to where where everything is. Remember, master place. Uh. Yeah, good call. Oh, well done, guys. Get ambushed by a bunch of zombies. We got a bit. Oh, how lovely. There, get out. Get out now! That was a casual holy shit. I can't hold on. Amazingly, they survived that. Oh, lovely fire. And oh. Ow, ouch! That that had to hurt. Claire! Claire, are you okay? Yeah! I'm alright! How about you? I can't stay here! It's not safe! Oh shit. Uh, yeah. Go not safe for either of us. I'll meet you at the station! Uh, oh, that's uh, a lot of zombies? Um. Let me just cash your little one away. I can't stop. Gotta keep moving. Yeah, I definitely can't take on all these guys. One, one, run. Oh. One, run, 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 run. Oh, I heard it. I heard something smashed. The police station. Almost there. Alright. So when I. On my previous quick run, I saw a zombie glitched around here. Let's see if he's still doing it. Let's see if he's doing it now. Hey, there he is. Wouldn't well, I can't say he's glitch per se. Just check my surroundings. Oh, somebody fell out the wind. Uh, the window of the bus. I didn't see that before. This guy though, he's dancing like mad. He's meant to be stuck, but he's not stuck. I just like watching this guy. <laughs> Go on, reach for the stars, you can do it! I think this guy's meant to be like stuck on one of these spikes or, or something. But yeah, it's, it's hilarious to watch. <laughs> it amused me greatly the first time I saw him. Right, hello guys, hello! Would you like, would you like some of Claire? Uh, they don't seem to be taking the bait. Hello? Um, they don't seem interested in Claire Law. Oh, 
Let me move past you. Jeez. Oh, okay, that was close. Whew. Had to waste a bullet there. Not not happy about wasting a bullet. Well, there we go. That's definitely kick got that secured. Okay, can I reload my bullet now? Oh, hello. Are you trying to bite the bar there? He's got a really non rendered face there. Oh, that's just disturbing to see. But is there anything around? Doesn't appear to be. Oh, and under the tunnel, huh? Alright, with that, I'm just going to quickly check one more time, one last time. Okay, sorry about that. Looks like the frame drop went to 0 0.5, but otherwise everything seems to be really fine. I won't keep checking now. It was just mostly after all this. And... Ooh. I was going to say I couldn't actually hear the music much, but it's just picked up big time now. Very creepy. Yet yeah, so nostalgic. It's got a sort of. Anybody here? The oh, Jesus Claire. Shush! I was listening to the music. That can I turn music up? Because I can't actually hear the music much compared to everything else going on. Picked up some ammo there. Ooh, laptop. Let's look it up. Anything useful? Come on, Chris. Where are you? Oh, looking at the cameras. That's a smart idea. Oh shit! They're inside too. David, Marvin, you there? I found a way out. It's in here. Uh, dude, shoot the head. Send reinforcements. East hallway. Just shoot the damn shoot zombie's head off. Oh yeah, that's a perfect idea there, Claire. I agree with you totally. Uh, first things first, though. Oh, deluxe weapons. Let's get rid of this key we don't need ever. But yeah, we do have some um, pre-order, is it pre-order items? Deluxe, from the Deluxe Edition. Noted by the way I was gifted this game, I didn't actually pre-order it. My friend gifted it me. And I'm internally grateful for it. Ooh. Ammo. But I can't get in. Stuck by tape. That sucks. No footprints around though. I can't actually hear any music now. Hello. Huh. Looks like something goes into that. In loving memory of those who served with the failure of lions, the nobility of unicorns and whose ultimate sacrifice is as pure as the maidens of old. Bunch of names there. Perhaps the developers, maybe? Big statue. Very good looking statue, I like it. Well, it looks like a puzzle. Nothing we can do about that at the moment. So let's check this area out. 
Uh, we need a spade key for that spade door. I believe that's a spade. I'd be really embarrassed if all this time I'm calling it a spade when it's like a club or something stupid like that. Uh, clean some more MR, that's always good. Oh, there's a clock there. I was wondering why I was hearing a ticking sound. I'd never heard that sitting right next to the entrance. Is that about... What is that, about 10... 10? PM? Well, it could be... I'll say AM, but it's pitch dark outside, so it's got to be PM. Why are you going to Raccoon City in the middle of the night, Claire? Why is Leon going to Raccoon City in the middle of the night as well? Ooh, big nice plant. Could I turn that into a herb? That would be really useful right now. Do 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 do. Okay, nothing over here. Oop, bang that door open and ooh, herbage. I like me some green herbs. Uh, cold beers. Oh, cold drinks, sorry. Hello, there's Marvin Brennan. Police officer, officer of the month. Still missing, lost child, Carly Bear. Aww, a child missing. Some of these probably got, oh, it's a bit dark to think of, but it's most likely the case. Oh, sweet. Hold on. One, two, three. This small room's got three TV screens. What's, what's this about? Oh, hello. And safe needing a puzzle. Uh, safe needing an unlock, so I'll be back here later. Ah, yeah, I can't enter this door. Spade required. Oh, God, pamphlet. Let's read the pamphlet, everyone. Yay! Raccoon to. Well, well, raccoon? Welcome to Raccoon City. Did you know why we are the home of pharmaceutical. pharmaceutical. Why can I hear footsteps when I'm in the menu? That disturbs me. Pharmaceutical giant Umbrella Corporation. Raccoon City is a vibrant and dynamic city with a long, rich history of its own. In this guide, we introduce you to just a few of the, of the more unusual points of interest. Assi has to offer. Like the police station. The police building is the centre of town wasn't always a police station. In fact, it used to be an art museum. <gasps> really? Various features, like the unusual clock tower and the goddess statue in the main hall, remind us of a bygone area. Wait, this has a clock tower? And there's an orphanage. Just a few blocks from the police station is an orphanage. Founded and run by the Umbrella Corporation with the help of generous donations from business needs and... Business needs? From businesses and citizens alike. The building is known for its stained glass window, which attracts visitors from around the world. Turns a museum into a police station. A very good question, but that's not the question I had when reading that. My question is why is the orphanage like a main attraction? I mean, it's all good and that nice and that we have an orphanage. Which tell me we're not going to, by the way. I definitely don't want to go to an orphanage in a zombie apocalypse. That sounds like the worst idea in the world. Hey, is there anything else around here? That requires a spade. We need a spade. Basically. Am I missing anything in here? M4 means the map. Mm, doesn't seem like it. Okay. Not at the moment anyway. But anyway, the objective is to go this way. So we missed about a, a lot. Typical. Uh, health and the recovery items. Yeah, thank you, game. I know how that works. You just go in the menu, click on health item, and click news. But I haven't been injured, so it's okay. Oh, oh great. Oh, no, this looks lovely. Where are you? This brings me lots of nope. Lots and lots of nope, hey guys. That's what I think about this situation right now. 
Lots and lots of nope. Hello. Fuse required, it looks like. Oh, so this place is flooded. Ah, public phones. Quite a few around. Uh, what is this? I can't read the writing, the flashlight's too bright. And with hourly, I can't even read it. It's all blurred. Missing people, maybe? Oh, missing pe person's information, yeah. Okay. It's a lot of people. Damn, this door's shut. Sightings. Start off the zombies before, you know, it could turn into a big, massive problem. Oh, it's spooky in here. Don't see anything. We know there's zombies around. Hmm. Creepy. It looks like people were sleeping here. So they must have been sleeping in this area. Suppose it makes sense. Big station and if it gets attacked, there's not much place you can hide. Focus, Claire. Focus. Because that's what we need to do in this situation. Oh, toilet paper. I wonder where they went to go tell it. Oh, there's a body here. Better be careful. Never know when one of them can just rise up from the grave. Hello. Oh, that's nice. Hello, I see that under you. Hammo. And he hasn't come alive to bite me. That's a great. I like it. Is there anything else in here? No. So yeah, you can use the map to find out if the room's actually all clear or not in terms of items. Like the main hall is got a lot of red, which means it's not clear. There's two things to find. In this case, I believe it's because of the puzzles. Like we got a goddess statue with the three holes. There's the taped box over there. But then again, we've got a fuse box in this hallway and that's blue. Blue meaning there's no items to find. I don't know then. Maybe unless there's items you can get from doing those. Who knows? Oh, so yeah, we can change the floor. Maybe? But we're not far from the objective. Well, anyway, case we're done in this room. And should we just explore what's in the room? We can use the room to actually lure the zombies away if we ever get attacked by zombies. Considering this hallway is dark as crash. Alright, hold this, move the lock out the way. Very noisy, but we gotta be quiet, clear. Oh, cleaning in progress. Now, you know what they always say? Oh, music. Music's picking up a bit. I'm going to turn that back down. They're starting to get weird creepy back. I don't think that even made the difference. I can still hear it the same as volume. Is that barbed wire? How did, did you type barbed wire up to it? There's some barricading work there. So men's we can't enter, but Claire's a lady, so we can go in the ladies' toilet. Not that I would ever do that in real life. Never ever. So you know, you have to say there's always loot in the toilets. Something useful, maybe? Uh, this toilet looks like it doesn't work because I don't see any water in there. That, in fact, that's quite clean. Oh, hello. Uh, first aid spray. See? Told ya. Always looting the turrets. Uh, 
think I found out why there's water on the floor. Yep, I think that covers that. This whole thing is of toilet water. Yeah. Did no one fix that? Oh, so the sinks actually look quite messy. Yeah. How long have I been playing for? 21 minutes? Huh. Do, do, do. Well, at least we got some loot. I don't think we're needing this. The whole place is all wet still. Oh, oh my god. Oh, bodies. Don't like the look of that. And that's Padlot. Hurry! Open up! Open this goddamn door! Why did you go to a locked door? What's wrong with you, sir? Okay. I Oh, see ammo in there. There's ammo in there. So we're definitely going in there later. Okay, I can't barricade that window, but that means... So yeah, there's a future where we can barricade windows, although I can't barricade this one. It won't give me the option. So that could come into play later. That's locked. There's a lot of bodies around here. I don't like that. Fire safety door, do not obstruct. Open the door! Huh? Hurry up! Hurry up! Open it! Uh, here, give me your hand! Help me! Hold on! Give me your, give me your other hand! It's okay, I got you! I don't think it's okay. Oh my god! Oh, ouch! Tell Marvin, tell Marvin what? I'm so sorry. What? 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 What do you want me to tell him? Damn, he's dead. Huh? What is this? Officer's notebook. So who was that? I'm trying to remember, I'm trying to think of who that officer could be. Maybe this notebook will tell us. So a nice little drawing, that's nice. And some more drawings of something that looks familiar. Okay. Return to the main hall. Okay, okay. I'm sorry, Mr. Officer. I'll be back for you. Oh. I see a zombie at the window. Hello. Oh, fuck the fifths, that miss. Oh, what the fifth? Potato aiming. Not the perfect time for that. Wasted. No bullets there. No one saw the bullet wasted. Oh. Yep, that means I'm getting the fifth out of here. Do, 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 do. Oh, hello. Oh, shit. Come on, quick, quick, quick. God damn it. Where'd you come from? Oh, hello. Big zombie. Hello. Sit your ass down. Seriously. Right, let's quickly look in here. Oh, boards, I'll take that. Good news that they board up the window. And more ammo. Three bullets, not worth it, but whatever. Uh, hear more zombies. Oh, that's the guy from the window, I think. Let's get out of here. God damn, he got here quick. Kick him, kick him, kick him. Obviously someone taught you well. 
Yeah, I know how to take care of myself. Um, yeah, come on. Yeah, sure. <clears throat> I think he needs. I think he's in a worse state than me. Marvin, what happened to you, man? Knows what caused this? There's a lot of theories, but all I know for sure is that this place is crawling with zombies. Yeah, you're telling me. Hey, hey keep that on, just in case. Yeah. I'm not gonna be around long. Once I find Chris, we're out of here. You really Chris's sister? Yeah. Why? Did you find something? He's on vacation. Europe, I think. Left weeks ago. Vacation? That's that's great news. She seems so shot. Looks like there might be a way out through this secret passageway. Oh. Good. <gasps> hey. Yeah, we should probably get you to a hospital. Oh, no. Forget about me. I can take care of myself. Oh, clearly. No. Don't be ridiculous. You're gonna need some help. Listen, Claire. Save yourself. So you can see your brother again. Now. You probably need this. What? what? No, or what's I'm that? Taking that. You're gonna... Shh. 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 Take it. And be careful. That's how things work here. Tell someone to be shut up. No matter who they were, you can't hesitate. Take them out if you can. Or you run. <laughs> oh, it's a combat knife. Okay. Uh, so yeah, you hold space and then you can left click the slash. You can also use it to, uh, as self defense against zombies. So like hold space and then hello slash. Oh, so yeah, if zombies grab you, you can just stick the knife in them. Sort of like in the first remake. Also, hey, look, it's still flashing for the east corridor there. Shouldn't we turn that off now? I mean, the guy over there is a bit dead, dead. Wouldn't it surprise me if we've seen Koi Amanda as a zombie at some point. Hmm. What was I going to say? Um, how long have I been playing now? 25 minutes. It seems, feels like I've been playing forever, yet it's only been a few minutes. Strange how that works. Apparently I've been streaming for nearly 50 minutes. But yeah, when he broke the news that Chris seems to be on vacation, Claire just didn't seem happy about it. I mean, sure, she'd be surprised going, wait, he's not even here? He's on vacation? Yay! But then she seems shut that like, why didn't he tell me? Kind of way. Well, hello. This does, this does seem familiar. Oh, hello. I didn't realize this. We got a letter from the best friend in the misc. Which we must have gone before we even came to Ekin City. Dear Claire, first of all, Thanks for the letter. Now, if you let me get this one thing off my chest. I can't believe you were gonna, really going to do it. I can't believe you're biking all the way to Raccoon City all by yourself. Just to see your brother. What the hell, girl? I know Chris means a lot to you. And yeah, you haven't been able to reach him for a month and all. But you're nuts. You know how many poets and assholes are out there just waiting for a hot young college student to come along and take advantage of? It's not safe to travel alone. But your mind's made up, isn't it? Fine, I get it. Just promise you're cool when you get to Raccoon City. Don't leave your bestest best friend hanging, okay? Love ya. P.S. Your brother may be the ED Chris Redfield, and he may have taught you how to fight and use a gun like a banshee, but that doesn't make you invincible, so don't get cocky out there. What a lovely good best friend. Everyone needs a best friend that is worried about their friend, but doesn't exactly stop them about... Was that barricaded the front door? Marvin, did you do that? That was not like that when I came in. 
bit. We all like our best friend that we worry about them when we're doing things like that. I won't exactly tell you, no, no, bad person. Right, what I wanted to do actually was uh, police station, officer's notebook. Hello, this is what we want. This looks very familiar to the thing in front of us. That's why it looks familiar. So it's a lion, correct? Yeah, that's definitely a lion. So we got a lion head, some kind of owl, and a flying thing of a scribble. Lion, owl, okay, it's more of a flower. Flying thing. I suppose that bird is the only thing there. Voila! I didn't fall out. Like in the original, something like that would just fall out. But not, not in this case. Voila! Right, so we know exactly where to put that. Right here. Oh, we could have examined it. That's a good idea. Let's examine all this stuff. We're not out of here yet. Marvin's only so quiet then. Hold on, control opens the map. That changes everything. Yeah, that definitely looks like a secret passageway. Alright, so if we hold on. We can hold left click to move items around. I just wanna I just want everything to be in one place. So if we examine this, a healing spray that will restore you to full health, yep. And usually in the original games this would, you have a ranking when you finish the game and what depending on what grade you get in terms of how many first aid sprays you would use as one of the things. So in using these things tend to lower the grade. I don't know if that's the case in the remake, in this game specifically. But there's one way to find out and I'm not going to go for like any top perfect scores or anything like that because usually also affects like how many saves you do how long it takes you to complete the game in fact actually i've seen actually i think this does have a grade ranking system i think i've seen some friends pro post their stats on twitter and such yeah that's quite nice and wooden boards study piece of wood that can be used to board up windows perfect for keeping the whiff out you mean like the zombies Seems like a perfect state. Oh, it's got some nails just stuck on it there. It seems like a waste of some nails there. Uh, we've got some herbage. Green herb native to the Arkley Mountains. It will restore a small amount of health. Oh, it looks smaller than what I picked up. Got a combat knife. Sure to come to handy in a pinch. It looks really sharp. And we got some ammo, but it's falling out. That's quite cool. Do we keep them all in a box like that? Maximum standard. 50 center fire pistol cartridge cartridges. 9mm rounds. Okay, okay. And finally, which we can unencrypt. A gun that looks like a sort of small magnum. It's a five shot capacity nine millimeter handgun. Its smaller capacity allows for its small size, making it extremely easy to handle. And that's the gun we're using. How lovely. Now, if you excuse me, I'm just gonna go to this, which I just remembered I haven't actually saved, have I? That was dangerous of me then, wasn't it? Put the first edge spray away. And let's a save. Yeah, I haven't saved because those are all yesterday's date. It's the 13th today, isn't it? Phone, tell me. 13th, brilliant. Hold the phone. Has that first aid spray order always been there? Mother Pfeffer. Let's put that one away as well. We've got limited space, so we can't just carry around the whole pharmacy with us. Marvin, did you do this with that wound? 
Hold on. Why is the door handle lock? It's broken. Why did you board up the door? They couldn't. They have, have they brought, did they break through the gate? Can't even see the clock. What a bad place to put a cut lock. You can't barely see that. It's still in outside. Merely, that's what I think. It's the worst place to put a clock. You can barely see that. So I put a bench there. A chest of drawers, it looks like. Three chairs, a pipe plant. Got some wooded boards up there. Looks like a part of a table. And a big massive box. It's quite well repaired. Oh, an umbrella. That could have been useful earlier, out in the rain. I can also use it as a weapon. Now you're thinking, where do we go next? Well, luckily, we got a knife here to cut the tape. Oh, so that's another question. Where did Marvin come from? I did. I looked all over here and I did not see a thing. Hmm. Oh, ammo, 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 wait. Grab the ammo. Oh, 24 bullets. I'm loaded. Oh, and a pipe plant. I'll probably put that in the box before I carry on. Hello, hello. You see that, right? Looks like a Welcome Leon sign. So are these windows not boarded up anyway? Come on, police officers. You meant to have this police station on lockdown and you didn't board up any of the windows. Alright, let's quickly put the herb away. We don't need two green herbs on us. I mean, I haven't been hit yet, surprisingly. I've got the wooden boards just on the off chance so I find something I need to board up. That window doesn't seem to be one. Ah. Now here's a thing, in the original game everyone loves this window. Because you come over here and you see something crawl past. And then you would happen to find what that thing was in this next room. We make us completely change that. We don't see this thing crawl through the window. And we don't see it in this next room, which could be a blessing in disguise, considering you only have a pistol at this point. But I don't know, I sort of miss it that it just threw it through it, yeah. You weren't expecting it. But now, things seem a bit, yeah, yay. Oh yeah, for the record, currently this is the demo, starting from when we enter the police station. And you have a time limit, just like in the original demo. Demo of the original game, you had like a 30 minute time limit, I think, or 20 minute or something like that. And you would end at a certain point in the game, of course. Oh, that sounds useful. Ugh, what happened to you? It's a very nasty wound. Oh. Oh, that can't be just a bite mark, surely. Who's there? Oh dear. Surely though, this radio thing would be more important and report that to Marvin. Surely that's the most important thing here. Okay, we can board that window up, but I don't know. Do I want to board up these windows? I'm actually 100% not sure. Because we're going to have limited boards and we can't just board up every single window we see. I'll probably do it just to be safe. Oh, oh, ow. Git. By the way, did you have anything on you? No. Git. Ah, oh, that's locked, of course. It is. Confiscated item storage. Marvin, officer of the month. I suppose he hasn't bragged that about, about that to me. Oh. 
about those wooden boards I had? Can I put them on this window instead? If I wanted to keep this place secure, I need to put it there. But at least the other window would have given me some protection for a few seconds. Oh, then. Get. There's another window. In fact, no, you can't keep this secure. Great, she's broken through. So much for that protection. Hold on. Well, let's quickly loot this place. Okay, let's do something good to find. Record of offence. Okay. So medium time, because that zombie's going to burst through that door. Thankfully, we're reading, so she won't interrupt us or break through the door while we're doing that. We're turning the station into a temporary shelter due to the massive sudden outbreak. All police personnel have been instructed to make the safety of the citizens their top priority as we try to accommodate as many of them as possible. Carried on, one of the refugees attacked just in the middle of the night resulting in the death of one officer and injuring three others. The person in question was quickly restrained. We believe this was simply a case of someone snapping under intense stress and they managed to Injure three people and kill one other. Sure. Maybe it was a zombie. Makes more sense to me. A mob attacked the station today. We saw in a number of casualties. A few survivors were able to make it safely behind the emergency shutters. But surrounded as we are, it'd be hard for any of us to escape this place. We're not sure we can fix any of our comm equipment, so we may cut off from the outside road. Next day, there was another clash on the west side of the station around 1pm. Trail people died. Rip. And there is only a handful of survivors left. Everything is falling into the stray in here. David Ford. Thinking he's one of the police guys. Chain locked. Oh, hello. You're very noisy, you know that? Ooh, police map. Okay, get up, get up, get up. Oh yeah, I tested this by the way. That zombie will not get us when we're on this. But if you jump down, it will. But I'm not going to waste any time on that. So yeah, we'll leave that zombie to it. Oh, more barricades. Hello. What have you got? Ooh, ammo. One bullet. i take it, I guess. You can eat a zombie on the other side of the window. Also, hello. Do you really want some stuff in there, don't you? Uh... Oh, I was hoping to avoid you. Okay, that's locked. Jesus. Okay, shoot your face off, not waste the ammo. Son of a bitch. I seem to generally take three bullets, which is nice. Oh, hello. Oh, gunpowder. Nuisance of gunpowder. Handgun ammo. We need two gunpowder. Acid rounds. We need gunpowder and high grade gunpowder. And submachine gun ammo. We need two high grade gunpowder. So we can get a submachine gun. That sounds useful. There's not a lot. Not a, there's not a lot of ammo left around the station. So make good use of any gunpowder you find. Different guns require different ammo. So pay attention when you're combining things, or you won't get what you need. I right, keep that in mind. Oh, of course, safe lot. Don't have anything for that. That zombie's still dead on the floor. Hello. What's this? Operation report. September 28th, 2.30. So it sounds like this has been going on for quite a while. It's down to just me and three others. Well, that escalated quickly. Everyone started dying. No weapons, no ammo, and too many skirmishes. Her drained us mentally and physically. We're not going to make it. Officer Phillips once suggested we escape through the Shisuas. Apparently there's a secret tunnel under this place left over from its museum days. I brushed her idea off before, but now it's not sending all that bad. 
Yeah, there's no proof that there's even a tunnel or that the sewers are infested with zombies. But I don't want to sit here and wait to die either. It's a long shot, but I'm going to try and find out what I can, what I can about that tunnel. Elliot Edward. I'm guessing that was the guy in the east hallway. Hello. Rookie's first assignment. Leon S. Kennedy, we're putting you on a very special case for your first assignment. Your mission is to unlock your desk. Oh, what an assignment. Oh, that sounds hard work. The key to the auto success is in the initials of our first names. You put the letters in order of our desks. There are two locks, one on each side of your desk. Make sure you get them both, basically. Oh, make sure you get them both. Basically, your first task is to remember your fellow officers' names. But you figured that much out, right? That's actually quite a useful way of learning everyone's names. You have to find a name so you can unlock the desk. Good luck, Leon. By the way, it might make, take a little work to get Scott to give you a straight answer. And then scrawled in the corner between drops of blood. Be glad you're not here, Rookie. Dun dun dun. Oh, I don't got a cough. <coughs> Fuck the fifth. Jesus, that scared the crap out of me, sir. By the way, look how Claire never mentioned that she was with someone else before getting to the station. So there's a simple way to unlock this desk. You see the nameplates on the desks on the sides? Just learn them in the order they go in. And it'll work. And I've forgotten it. I think this was Ned. There we go. Well, I've got to be quick here. Zombies are awake. And then we got MRG. So yeah, Ned is for... Uh, I've forgotten what the end stood for. But E was for Elliot Edward. So it's remembered in the first names, right? Um, so there was Elliot, George, and this is Marvin, who's in the main hallway. R for Rita, aka Captain Phillips. And then G for George Scott. Okay, that's open. And let's grab that. And there's Leon S. Kennedy. It's a nice way to, unlock, to lock the desks. Speed loader. And then we loaded that into our gun. And then we're running all the way out. Oh shit. Hello. Now, there's two swing in that room. I mean, I know there's a safe, but I know there's some ammo in one of the lockers. But I panicked. Okay, we can unlock some of these, I think. 104? Or maybe we need to restore power first. Right, so we're going to be chased by about three zombies now. Or four. I've forgotten how many there were. Storage locker terminal memo. It appears that the keypad to the locker's terminal is missing a few keys. I suggest that the person responsible for this mess find some spare keys and fix this right now. Keys being buttons, by the way. Because that's what it's called on the keyboard. You know who you are, bastard. Who else fuck you up this badly? It can't be Leon, he's not started yet. So, that's been reported. And there's some useful things in these rooms. In these lockers. Of course the fat zombie will follow me in here. Is that all that's followed me? Seems like it. Oh, we need a weapons locker key. Okay, we need to unlock some of these. Is he up already? Shit. What the hell is up with you? 
How casual, Claire. Well, let's call open some of these, it seems. There we go. Is that gunpowder in there? That's useful, I guess. Just the older ones I can try and think we can do from this, from just the pan on the white. I can't unlock all of them, it seems. There we go, 109 so much. We got some more handgun ammo, that's nice. And we can't do any of the others because we don't have a two. And there's things like four or one work. Nah, I didn't think they would. Oh, another knife in 103. Oh, wolf him. I'm sure that could come in handy. Little handgun ammo, that will always definitely come in handy. <gasps> Shotgun! Definitely need that weapons locker key. Think I'll casually go the other way and run out the door before the zombies get up. Now for some reason the other two zombies we just stroll around in that room. Oh, wooden boards. Perfect timing. I mean, this window will last a while, but I like to keep it double safe. Oh, what a camera shot. Lovely camera shot of that guy. Just, just board him up, censor that man. He, he's not allowed in, he's not going to have no fun. I think he's also going to be there for the rest of the game. Right, there we go then. Also, we got a safe room that no one would go in. This is the dark room. Welcome, it's, as the name says, dark. But there is a light switch. Just flip that. And voila, lights. And the room contains evidence. Do not leave out. For some reason, we can make the that subtitles. And a red herb. Now what I'm gonna do here is combine the red and green herb to make some big mess on a page of paper. Basically that's gonna give us a full heal. This blend of two different herbs will fully restore your health. Also oh, we do have some film. Commemorative photo. Okay, um, why did we take a picture of this? Is this from the museum days? Possibly. It's a nice picture, I guess. Anything in these lockers? In the original, this needs to be where the special costumes are. Oh, another gunpowder. And more handgun ammo. Perfect. Just what I needed. And this is where we learn the medical benefits of herbs. Oh, hey Waxby, welcome! It's funny that you happened to join me where I ended the stream the previous day. It's kind of strange that. This, this time I've never gotten hit. I've done a perfect one so far. Humans have used herbs to treat sickness and disease since the dawn of time. In this book, we will explore three such herbs native to the Arkley Mountains. Green herbs have the ability to heal basic injuries, while blue herbs have long been used to treat poisoning. Oh, actually wasn't here. That's that's why I haven't been hit yet. He's going to now distract me. Oh, okay, that's how it works. I forgot, what, did I start reading this? It's, it's already working. As for red herbs, while they are physically appealing, they offer no medical benefits. Or so it was thought until recently. It's well known that combining herbs together produce blends that heighten the herbs effects, which, but it has been discovered that red herbs can play a big role while mixed properly. According to one doctor of Asian medicine, mixing blue and red herbs together produces a blend that will strengthen one's constitution. Truly we have only just begun to realise the full potential of these herbs and their ability to heal the human body. Further research is sure to yield even more fascinating results. Basically, red herbs on their own are shite, but mix it with another herb and it's the most amazing thing in life. So let's store all this stuff away. 
Oh yeah, the guns have no ammo in it. That's not good. And there's a save type way in here. I'm gonna save over at the second one. Gotta gotta focus on that. And I'm not gonna end the stream, but I'm just gonna quickly minimize this check just double check OBS and everything. Okay, the frames have dropped even less, 0.3. I've never seen it go down. I've seen it go up, but never go down. But yeah, I think I'm ready. I think I'm ready. I've got plenty of ammo. This guy's not going to bother me. So the only thing for it is to go upstairs. Oh, and Raxby, since you're here, I've been in the safety deposit room. That's the only thing I've pretty much done different. Oh yeah, and I explored this little room that was on the east side. Safety deposit room's got a shotgun that I can't access at the moment. But it seems so lovely. Raxby's lost now. <laughs> That's what I think's different. I know, right? I'm done perfect. Hello, there's a zombie there. Oh, hello, you got something for me. Oh, more ammo. Don't mind if I do. I'm living the ammo. Is this the zombie that usually throws itself off the edge? Uh, I don't have a... Hold on. Main hole is just through here. Can we open this up? That'll make a nice shortcut. So I was just going to see... Um, looks like there's a third floor above this. Don't know if we can access that yet. But I'm just going to go this way. Oh, men's locker room. I imagine that's going to kill me if I try and touch it. Oh, fifth me. Fifth me. And that's lot typical. Fifth me, zombie. I would stab you, but I have a feeling that would make make you alive. Oh, flame wounds. Whew. Okay, that's beating my heart up a bit. Hello, what's this? Portable safe. The fifth I'm meant to do with the portable safe. You can examine an item from a different angles by selecting it and using the examine but command. You might feel something that might help you. Is that for this? Oh. Oh, okay. Oh. Okay, okay. Okay, so... This could be a nice little puzzle to do, damn it. Okay, this may take me a while. But I've, I'll get it, I'll get it away. Damn it. Damn it, I've already messed it up. What are? I felt like mind. Achievement. Opened that and we got a spare part. For what? For a terminal of some sort. That could go in the safety deposit room. That means I could get a lot of stuff. Portable safety instructions. Oh, maybe I should have read this first. Press a button to light up its corresponding lamp. Light them all up to open the safe. The buttons must be pressed in a certain order. Pressing a single button out of order will cause all the lights to go out and you will need to start the sequence all over again. Well, I gathered that much. Thanks, thanks, no. I was hoping that was going to be for that code. But suppose I can now leave. Because I can't touch the steam. And I suppose I can't go any further? <gasps> Another red herb! Awesome. 
Yep, barricaded, so I need to go upstairs. So in this case, should I go downstairs? Oh, he's turned around. It's all facing the stairs, but I don't think he saw me. Oh, he's broken the, the glass now. That took him a while, see? But now, because of the boards, he can't actually come in. Alright, let's get, get a green herb out and deposit the flame rounds. I don't know if I'll keep the spare parts on me, because I think that's where uh, the keypad goes for the keypad. Fat. I'll save it quickly again and then check it out and then I'll probably save again and that way I've avoided all the old data. Oh yeah, well, actually I also found one of the medallions. It was in the main hall. I mean, casually walking seems to not upset the locals that much. Oh, hello, you're alive. No. This is the most resilient zombie I've ever met in my life. Just, just FYI. I think I've given him like 20, bu 20 bullets in my whole time of playing. It does work. So if I do one or two. Ah, that works. Okie dokie. So if I do 201, no, 204, 202, no, I mean I can just look at the lockers of which ones I can open, but that means waking up the zombies. No, no, back, 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 I've done 204, 207, 208, there we go. Oh, more flame rounds. Yeah, for swing, I don't have. Okay, okay then. So what have we got? Some gun. Oh, that's gunpowder. I thought that was a flame well. And here it is the shotgun. Or oh, is that a bazooka? Could be the bazooka because there's flame rounds next to it. Don't trust that zombie. And there's only one other lock we can open here, that's 203, but I need a spare key for that, a spare part. So yeah, that's for uh, a knife and... What's the other thing? A backpack. That sounds lovely. And then we need a key for the shotgun or bazooka, whatever it is. I, I want to call it a bazooka. Is there somebody still there? Yeah, it is. He's not trying to get in. Bless him. Right, let's just deposit our new stuff away. Uh, it, uh, it does um, combine with the other stuff in there, that's good. And put that in there. The gunpowder doesn't combine though. I suppose it makes sense. So we've got four free slots. That's great. Save one last time. Hold on, what? Oh, right, yeah, mouse white. I can't, actually can't believe how much has changed with the medallion as well. If I ever go back in the main hall on this session, uh, and you're still here. Are you just waiting? Five minutes, this, this thing scared me. I thought that was a zombie then. Is he just doing jump scares now? Whenever I walk past, he goes, Bleh. Well, yeah, as I was saying, if I ever go to the main hall and you're still here, I'll see if I can show you where I found it. And you also miss some dialogue. Oh, it's still there. Hello, Mr. Zombie. Oh, that's nice. Headshot. Good. He's down for the count. Oh, more ammo. Don't mind if I do. 
I'm loaded. Oh yeah, and the weapon's upgraded. Yep, dialogue was with Marvin. I think he said something like Elliot was white. Something along those lines. Oh, another padlock to key. Uh, would it happen to be the same as the Leon's desk? Which, by the way, Waxby, we opened Leon's desk. It doesn't seem like it. Don't have the options. Hello. <gasps> A fancy looking key. Is that the key that I've been wanting to find this whole time? Spade key. Bum bum bum. That, that, that changes everything. We can now unlock one, two, three rooms. In fact, we can go back to the main hall right now. But there's two zombies in the west office and I'm not really keen on getting past them. Casual place to put a key. So at least we can get back to the main hall and see Marvin again. I mean we have to go back to the main hall. I don't have the ammo for this. I don't have a big gun. Can I have a big gun? Should I go back and save? No, I've saved. Okay, this door's unlocked. A few files. Why don't I want a few of the files? Waxby will always be here in spirit. So does not. He's at work. So does it work? I suppose he would be at work. No? He would be a sea good, isn't he? No, oh, no, wait. No, wait. Maybe? No? So, game. Why are you telling me to view my files? I don't I don't want the fact that you're telling me how to view my files right now. Oh, gunpowder, I'll take that. I'll take the wooden boards, even though I don't need them at this moment in time. It's creepy ass though. Actually, judging from the map, it looks like this is a dead end on the left. And indeed it is. Okay, oh. I almost missed this. Oh, did he? Okay. Consider this a gift for anyone still unfortunate enough to be alive. Keep your eyes peered for those creepy fucks that look like they were skinned alive. Oh no. Lickers, we call them. They're blind as bats, but they're hearing more than it they mix up for that. So long as you don't run around like a total idiot, guns are blazing, you should be able to slip right by them, probably. Hint, hint, don't run around like an idiot, you can walk. Either way, mate like my grandma and creep around as slow as possible around them, yeah? Anyway, not that I want to go, but do you cause? That, and I've got a friend to avenge, David. Oh great, this is where we start doing stealthy stuff. Maybe that's why he wanted me to feud a fire. Hint, hint, there may be a liquor around. Oh, hello. A hip pouch. We can access two more slots. Oh, achievement a lot. Hip to add squares. That's wonderful. But what does this say? Some guy's scribblings. Oh, it's not important then. Mm. Damn those corporate assholes. They cut me off after all I've done for them. If that's how it's going to be, so be it. I'm going to have a little fun of my own as the world goes to shit. 
I boarded, I boarded all those fifty pigs up in a steel pen and set some C4. All I gotta do is there and and it's so no suckers. Fifty pigs? What's he in about? But it's not fun if it's over too soon, so maybe I'll give that one raven loon swing to really screw you about. Yeah, maybe I'll give him a little tour and tell him cue the girl next year and I'll spare the others. I wonder what you do. Is this, a, is this a cop talking about the prisoners, or is this one of the other citizens that went, went in? Yeah, about justice and pride, and how many times you did you go against me, your own superior? Yeah, you're such a good cop. So good, you had to die. Man, is this fun. I need some music for this. Was that cop that bought that? Faith. Oh, Faith, there's a body in here. Oh, is this the... Oh! This looks like the prison area. Look, there's quite a few dead bodies in there. Uh, I've got the there is C4 there. They haven't detonated it. How gruesome! Oh, ammo. That'll come in handy. Explosive barricade. It's, I think that's everything here. Oh, by the way, yep. Oh, just out of reach. Wait, I think that this little prison area looks like it includes on the map for this room. So there's probably something in there. Not that I want to go in there with all those bodies around. Oh, library. For the record now, this is all new territory for me. I may have seen glimpses of the library. Oh, my fifth. There's bodies everywhere in here. But in regards of playing, this is all new territory for me. I've never played it, the library. Claire, it's Marvin. How fast can you get back here? Why, what's that? I've got something to show you. It's important. Hurry, oh, really? I'm on my way. No, 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 What are you going all the way down for, Claire? Son of a bitch. Nice headshot. Down you go. I wish there was a good way to get rid of zombies. Oh, there we go. He's definitely down for the count. Looks like we could try and make a sort of bridge there. Why? What happens if we go this way? Nothing. Okay. Oh. Good thing I cleared the zombies. Hello. Shot you in the head. You should be dead, sir. I say to my like tenth zombie. There we go, he's dead. You don't mind me if I just move this? That how that works? Oh I can't move that. Oh okay, I see. Oh, see, puzzle, right. Uh, let's go back down. Because we were going. Uh, back up the stairs, back up the ladder, back up the ladder. Where are you going? Sit your ass down. No one said you could get up. Great, more bodies to deal with. Oh, hello, a red book. Oh. I'll just pick up the red book. Okay. Uh, let's examine it. Piece of plastic shaped like a book. It looks like it was being held by a hand at some point. Really? Really? It was held by someone at some point in life. I would never guess. Oh. Oh, that's what it means. 
There's like an actual hand mark on it. Oh, do you mean like sort of like a thing, something, an object? I wonder where that goes. Okay, there seems to be a puzzle with the bookcase, but I'm sure at this moment in time what we want to do with that. Hello? Oh, knife! Let's not walk over the corpse. That's a bad idea. You know, you watch your zombie shows and you see that. It's a bad idea. Hold on. We can go back to the main hall. <gasps> dun dun dun. This is important. Oh no. Okay, that's locked. Hello. Police station upper floors map. So is that like third floor as well, or did, oh, it's the third floor? Okay. Okay, so there's the library we we're just at. There's a clock tower. Okay. Ah, Star's office. That would be an important place to go to. Chief's office. So what's down below? Oh, that's the um, lounge area. Right. Okay, I'm starting to get my whereabouts of this new station. Okay, so yeah. Yes, thank you game, thank you. Officer's notebook. So for Waxbase, since he wasn't here before, these drawings are, are little statue things where the medallions are attached. Like, it's in this little circle thing. There was one in the hall, hall in the main hall of a uh, lion. So here we got a unicorn, so if we look at the file, and then search for what this looks like a unicorn in the bottom left, you can see there's some symbols at the bottom. We put that in this statue and it will give us the medallion and... Let's see, we got some two fish looking things. A scorpion and a money bag kind. Pouch. Fish. Scorpion. Okay, it looks like a phase four vault or something, I guess. I don't know. And voila! Unicorn medal that we can't take, so we just leave it in there. Marvin got his blood all over this book. Is the stream beat delayed? Let me have a look at that. No, no, it's not. Oh, oh, wait, I know what you meant. Oh, okay. You meant this book. Yes, yes, that, yes, 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 Waxby. That at the start of the book, of the game when he was holding the book. When Claire gives it him, yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, I'm with you now. Well, I'm here. Just, let me just check OBS. Oh, 0 0.2 frames drop. I'm quite surprised by that. Also, I'm surprised there's no delay at all on the stream. Literally none at all. Uh, spade key. News. And... Ta-da! There's Marvin. Surprised he's still breathing. And you can see we've got a medallion in there already. And we do need to get the other one in there. But I have no inventory space so I need to come back up. So just for the record. I don't know how I missed this in the previous stream. But there's one right here. And those aren't the actual things unused. So let's reset. So yeah, I did the same thing I did with the unicorn on that one. And I came down and put it in the thing. Now we got a cutscene. There you are. Come here. What is Why do you sound so disappointed? Look. Oh my god, he made it. You know him? Yeah, it's Leon. Uh Kennedy, I think? Oh. The rookie. 
Thought he looked familiar. You can make it to that courtyard. The second floor, east side. Okay. Thanks, Marvin. I'm on it. So, what's Leon doing? Is he just going to wait there? Can you see him in there? No. You couldn't just tell me that on the radio that there's another survivor. You couldn't just say that. Oh yeah, by the way. Let's use that again. Zombie! Zombie! That way we don't have to go through that entrance again. In fact, we don't ever need to go in there again, do we? Mm, no, we do. There's a records room for a club key. We have a club key. But otherwise, not really. I mean, there's a lot of room all the way over here. Hmm. So I was just thinking if I should board this up, this window or not. But then there's many other windows they could break through. But apparently we don't. We can't board barricade. Wow. Well, well. Anyway, I got more important things to look at. We've got to put a lot of stuff away. I don't need two knives out. I don't need all this gunpowder out. I've got plenty of ammo. And do I keep the red book? An art object. It's a piece of plastic shaped like a book. Okay. Okay. I wasn't reading that quickly. I should probably carry that with me. Also, I have curiosity. I'll try that in a second. Let me just quickly grab the medallion. In before all the zombies wake up. I wonder how many doors I need to unlock with the speed key. Just grab you, put you in there, and back into the main hall, go. So we've got an objective, we need to go find Leon. Now I'm going to unlock the door and then I'm going to see if the game tells me that was the last door to use on it, Leon. How long have I been playing? 1 hour and 18 minutes. I'll play a bit more. I've got all night. Although I do want to have a sandwich at some point. So I may stop at 8 o'clock. It's currently half 7. Discarding key items. You can discard? Oh, right. Okay, that makes more sense. I didn't actually read that. You can discard items that have served their purpose or any other key items with a tick mark by slaying the bin button. Okie dokie. No burger, just a sandwich? I had a burger this morning actually. For breakfast, I mean, actually it's about 12 o'clock so it wasn't actually breakfast. But yeah I had a burger earlier. Why am I going doing all the way down here? Oh yeah, by the way, when we put the medallion in, it actually unlocked this little window. So we can actually see that there is a passage. A unicorn. And that unlocks a bit more. So we just need one more bit medallion. How is Leon, by the way, alive? I'd like to ask. So that's got a tick mark. I mean, we're not even going back to that gas station, so we can just discard, discard this. Just to clear the inventory up. And then save. I'll probably play a bit longer. Yeah, I said I'll stop about 8 o'clock, I guess. Do, 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 do. I just realised that things are not, not uh, open downstairs, isn't it? Like curtains and stuff. And it's dark now. Uh, that's annoying. Alright, what have we got? 
art room. I suppose that's where we can put the book. Maybe. Oh, more boards. That come in handy, I guess. Oh, the phone. I've seen that before. Come and do photo. Ah, that's where the book goes. Our article, The Red Stone. The ruby that capitated Edward the Black Prince. The pearl that the Queen of the Nile milk dry. The diamond that leads a queen to the guillotine. There is no end to the numbers of tales related to the appeal of jewels. This mysterious red stone is simply the latest to sparkle among them. Like those other jewels, this one's organ is unknown. It's said that it once adorned a noble woman's jeweled box and was even dedicated to a wise king. This fool, this, this fool, this stone that's long been shredded in legend will on be <laughs> shredded in legend will be on display during auction. There are sure to be many eager enthusiasts there. But dear reader, one would do well to approach with care for devilly lies in beauty's shadow. This jewel has turned caring nobles who love their subjects into despots more terrible than Caligula. And we have the tales to prove it. Seriously, it's precisely because these jewels are bathed in blood that their luster stirs something in the hearts of people everywhere. Interesting read. Weapons locker keycard. <gasps> you know what, just for that I may just go back. Okay, everything seems safe. Oh, statue's left arm. What's that doing on the floor? Well, I suppose this is an art room. This is probably more left over from the museum days rather than part of a police station. Uh, can we use that? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Uh, no. Oh, I see, I see. I've got to combine the book with it. How are we sticking it on, by the way? Got some real super glue there. Oh, that's turning. Do, do, do. Oh, we, we're picking that up. Okay. Scepter. What the fuck do I do with that? Okay. Done in the art room, I guess. With that said, I'm going to go back to the main hall, save it, and call it a session, I think. Wait, which way? Oh, wait, there's boards here. Pick up the boards. And then this looks locked, so this should be safe to explore, right? Why, I need something for that. Okay, let's do something else in the hallway apparently. I suppose I mean I haven't turned the corner. And yeah, I'm done looking in there for the moment. Too creepy for me. I'm more interested in the locker key. Because we saw back in the safety deposit room with the weapons locker, there was a big weapon there that I want. I want it. And I may want it now. Sort of shaft with a jewel in it. Hold on. So if we... Oh, hello. Just picked up a red jewel now. Okay. I suppose we need to use that somewhere. So with that said, I don't need to get rid of anything, but I'm going to save you again, and this is where I will end my next session. So when we come back, I will do the weapons locker. Uh, what's the best way to get there? Don't really fancy going through the zombies, so if I go through the second floor, through the library... To the rest storage room... I have no problem, Max B. Glad you enjoyed it. I was just trying to work out what's the best way, but I could work this out next time. West Office would definitely be the shortest because it's just a short trip, but there's two zombies in the West Office. 
and there's another two dead bodies in the safety deposit room that can get up. Oh well, I'll figure it out next time. Did I save? I saved, didn't I? Uh, yep, that's just literally one minute ago. Oh wait, yeah. So yeah, thank you for watching everyone, and I hope to see you all next time. Hope you had a glorious time, and I'll see you that next time. Ta-da!